guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you good tidings and good news this is between yabodu and fiti abalogo the long time beef the long time fight has finally finally come to an end this came after fiti abalogo took to her instagram page shared a picture of herself and yabodu and the same time our ever gracious yabodu took to her instagram page and also shared a picture of herself smiling elegantly face to face with fiti abalogo seeing this everyone was shocked and surprised like what Yabojo can actually make amends with Fethi Abalogo it's so surprising and so alarming and then the caption that followed this was it's all peace and love Fethi Williams how we go take follow each other again remain oh chai IG expert over to you end quote Yabojo is saying this because she knows that she personally took out her time to unfollow and blocked her pro blocked and pro max blocked fiti abalogo from my instagram page well we guess it's the elders in the nollywood industry and as we all know our amiable mc Luma also intervened before these two were able to reconcile because full caption yabojo was saying saying thank you at king mc Luma at olaya igwe fumes these two were appreciated in the caption that followed the picture where fita and yabo were smiling elegantly at the camera well fans have expressed their excitement over yabo and fita reconciliation hinted that they missed their vibe some of them also called yabo to end beef with funky akidele as we all know that that's a story for another day well no one ever thought this two would ever come to reconcile with each other not anytime soon as this beef had been for over five years or there about since 2018 and now part of the new year resolution for yabo and fitia balogo is to end each other's beef and it is sweet and marvelous in our sight for those that don't know the genesis of all of this fight there is just one thing that is peculiar with urban nollywood industry which is the fact that if there is no man in this issue it will be that they are beefing each other for material things and in the case of Etia Balogu and uh, Yabojo, the genesis of it was because of a man who is said to be residing in Istanbul, in Turkey, and he also happens to be Yabojo's lover. And Fetia Balogun was said to have snatched this young boy from Yabojo. There's one thing Yabojo doesn't like is betrayal. And to crown it all, the icing on the cake was when Yabojo alleged Fetia Balogun that she was the one who spread false rumor about a surgery that she didn't go for a bomb bomb, but then she went for a tummy talk and that she started spreading fake rumors to the blogger saying that she almost died. She was in coma for three days. It's so unbelievable that someone like that, that she also dared to her heart could do something like that to her she for one doesn't like betrayal this was made known to us on ig by a popular blogger called Idris Lover, who shared the gist of the young man in question benga nobu aka ashwaju istanbul is said to be the one and identified as the cause of the fight between yabojo and fitia balogo according to this blogger it says that i quote ashwaju istanbul is a married man based in turkey and also an agbawo he likes to press laptop a lot. He is Otumba Cash friend too. So it's Auntie Abba that was with the man before Wings. She was even the one that named the lounge way cause fight. So some years back, actress Yabojo took Fetia to Turkey to celebrate Fetia's birthday. And along the line, Mama too was in for surgery then. We we'll remember the story of Yabo being in a coma in Turkey then. Well, it happens that Fetia Balogun is the brain behind how the story went viral on social media. And to even add salt to injury now until yabo and the so-called man are no more into each other again but the man still dig until fetia so auntie yabo was mad like i took you to this place now I even want to host your birthday for you without my consent this year this is a man who is younger than these two aunties oh. but this man self carry your chai those days where this actress will go to his lucky residence to cook for him and his boys, Troy. So, Auntie Yabo is hosting Uncle Said now, Fetia ex-husband, and Benga is hosting Auntie Fetia to gay for. So, my JLB fans, which of the parties are we attending? Uncle Said birthday at First Press Lounge or Fetia Balogun at Island Lounge for Turkey? Me, I will go to First Press Lounge or I come in peace. Bag of coronavirus will not fall on also end quote this was the popular blogger called just love letting us know the nitty-gritty of what started this whole fight between fitia balogo and iyabo joe which happens to be a young guy who is said to be a boy in quote 
who is also a lover to Yabojo but snatched by Fiti Abalogu. Well, on seeing this post by the popular blogger, Yabojo responded and reacted that me, a whole me, Yabojo, at least will fight with another woman over a married man. God forbid, I can never do this. She took to her Instagram page and let the world know that the last thing she will ever do is to fight over any man. Yabojo took to her Instagram page. She said, and I quote, the last thing I, at least Yabojo, will ever do is fight any woman because of any married or single man go jogger for be just love our oak ball worst scenario i will just ignore you Nick. what goes on in our industry is beyond all that gist you write though is beyond what you can ever comprehend hmm. oh deep go oh dark go oh spiritual go new Oh, that too loud gone new. It has been in the days of Baogunde and it will remain forever and you can never be prepared. But as the odds, I did ready. End quote. This was Yabojo letting the popular blogger know that all that thing that you wrote concerning me, no be me get her. Well, a few days before this post and then Yabojo responded to the post. Fetia Balogun celebrated her 51st birthday, which happens to be on the same day when Said Balogun, ex and of strange husband, also celebrates his birthday. Fetia Balogun, on seeing Yabojo's post, took to her Instagram page to share an image which says, and I quote, People may destroy your image stain your personality but they can't take away your good deeds because no matter how they describe you you will still be admired by those who really know you better end quote this was the response Feta Balogun gave to Yabojo. And on the said birthday, Yabojo personally subtly threw shades at Feti Balogun, saying and writing a long epistle. You never cease to amaze me, and I am not surprised because you remain number one Agbaya in Nollywood. No self-respect at all. You envy the young ones that pretend to love the ones that you benefit from. Somehow at the end, you still ain't loyal. Ish. After all I did for you two years ago to celebrate your birthday in Turkey, you still snitch on me, giving media fake news that I was in coma for three days. You wish because you knew about my surgery. I knew you hoped and prayed I died. That's why you never came to see me afterwards. But guess what? My God passed you. He's mightier than you. My God disappointed you and your team. I'm still a living girl. You are a which yes so goodbye no me but guess what i am that lioness who will always come out victorious no matter how hard you try to pull me down or destroy my name spiritually darkness and light can never be on the same page and i make bold to say you are a terrible person back of a witch enjoy your birthday at island lounge remember i named it and quote this was yabojo subtly train sub at Fethia Balogo back then in 2020 when she celebrated her 51st birthday well 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 back to the gist that brought us today which is the fact that these two have now decided to reconcile and call it quit with whatever beef that they had with each other putting every differences aside and moving on as besties once again well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comment to the comment section below thank you bye